Okay, my name is Dr. Tiffany Preet. I'm a member of the Blood Tribe. I'm also an adjunct faculty member in the Department of Educational Policy Studies at the University of Alberta. And today, I'm going to be talking to you about an article that I wrote called Beadworking as an Indigenous Research Paradigm. Have you ever wondered if an Indigenous research methodology can use a quantitative research design? In this article, I talk about how and why, as Indigenous researchers, we can use a quantitative, qualitative, or a mixed method research design while being grounded in an Indigenous research methodology. I use Native American beadwork as a metaphor throughout this article. Glass beads are not traditional to the Indigenous peoples of North America. However, since being colonized, glass beads have become entrenched in most Indigenous peoples' cultures. Just as we did not reject the use of glass beads in our cultures, we should not reject using methods that are common to the colonizers' research studies. We can adapt them to meet our and our research community needs. Beadworking as an Indigenous research paradigm is comprised of three principles, which are beadworking as an act of resistance, beadworking as an act of knowledge transmission, and beadworking as an act of resiliency. Please read the article to learn more about the three principles of beadworking and how I apply them to an Indigenous research methodology. As a Blackfoot scholar, three principles are grounded in Blackfoot ways of knowing, being, and doing. Thank you.